Howdy folks, I hope you're having a lovely day. Now, in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to activate your account and how to use the super admin panel. It's very simple to be honest. Now, uh, go ahead and click on register super admin account link right below this video and there should be a link on the top as well. It's very convenient. Okay, now, once you click on it, it should open up a new window that looks something similar to this. Okay, go ahead and type up your name. Go ahead and type up your email address. Now go ahead and type up your uh, password. Now go ahead and put in your validation right here. So 14, click on register. It says the account has been created. Now let's go ahead and log in. Click on secure login. Now you should be logged in. Now when you log in for the first time, obviously it's going to say no subscription found or expired. Now, please watch and listen to what I have to say or else you're going to have a hard time activating your account. Okay. So since we're providing you with a very, very premium, premium account, it's usually 99 bucks per month. Now I want to, I'm going to show you how to activate it. Just pay attention. Okay. Click on buy now click on proceed with payment remember you're not gonna make any payment just watch me okay yeah it'll take you to some page click on cancel and return to Gary group LLC okay payment canceled okay as you can see the payment has been canceled now what you will see it will say status should be pending okay when you come back here again, it will say status pending. Now, all you have to do is wait 12 hours, normally like a couple hours, and this will be activated and your account will be activated. So let me show you how it would look, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and activate this account. I'm going to pause the video for a second. I'm going to refresh this page. I just activated this account from my admin. Let me refresh it. And when I refresh it, guess what? Guess what? You see that it will say complete and you will get you all of your features right here. Now keep in mind you have to do this. This is just a way for us to activate each plan, you know, manually because, you know, it's a very, very, uh, valuable tool and we cannot do it automatically. Okay. For that reason. Now, once it's activated, you're good to, it'll say it expires in 2000, uh, where does it go? Okay. 2020. After 2020, it's going to, you know, again, renew itself. So don't worry about that. Okay, keep in mind. Now let's go ahead and start learning how to use it. Now, first thing I would do is let's go over all these, okay? Uh, we have your uh, profile. When you logged in, all this information is right here. Your subscription information, your notes, and your uh, alerts. And your alerts right here and you can change your password. Now let's look at the, all the features. Now domain tools, okay? Who is lookup will allow you to check who owns that site. Click on type of the website, click on lookup domain, and it's very simple. It'll tell you who owns the site and everything, okay? Domain to IP. This is basically going to tell you what IP does the domain use. Hey, found it. Domain available. Now if you wanna check if a domain is available or not, you can do that from your dashboard, okay? Now, IP blacklist. Now, it's a very cool tool. I'm gonna go ahead and type up my IP of my website. I'm gonna click check, check, blacklist for IP. And as you can see, my website is listed on one of the blacklists. Now, uh, to remove it, I gotta go over there and request it to re be removed, but you get an idea if your uh, site has been blacklisted. Give it some time, let it load completely. It takes time, it's uh, very, it's searching like a lot of networks. Okay, I'm gonna move on. And I'm gonna head over to hash tools, okay? Hash tools, let me go ahead and click on hash tools and I'm gonna click on hash database. Now, what is a hash database, guys? Hash database allows you to, let's say you have, it's a, you know, it's a encrypted code and you can search that database to see if someone else is searching it, okay? For example, your WordPress passwords, your you know uh, website password they're usually in, you know encrypted in in hash 
if you go ahead and search your hash you'll find out if the hash actually exists or not okay and insert single hash if you want to keep make sure that your hash is not being searched so basically you find your hash and you can find your hash in php my admin or ask it from a provider and um, you know put it in there and save it insert it now what the system will do is make sure and check that hey no one else is trying to you know hack that hash or trying to decode it someone is trying to decode your hash you'll get a notification you change your password cool upload if you want to upload it same thing Hash settings if you want to go ahead and export your hashes now hash generator now for example okay go ahead create a hash now see this is like a hash value now if I go ahead and click on database and uh, add new hash if I put it like this right pass if I add it like this what's going to happen guys is basically Let's go back to uh, hash database. As you can see, you know the system will actually occasionally scan to make sure that your hash is not trying to be hacked. Okay. So if it says no dat no not found in database, that's actually a good thing. Okay. And hash upload file to get hash. If you have a file list of uh, you know password you want to convert to hash, you can do that that's just some of the tools now virus tools now this will scan if the website has a virus or, or not let's let me search for Google and obviously Google doesn't have virus give it some time and it will find that out for you and click here for a report and as you can see clean side clean side clean side okay everything looks good now md5 hash scan same thing here guys Search for has. Let's see if someone is, if it exists. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so no one has been trying to hack this password. Now, uptime monitor right here. Click on uh, monitors. Basically, what this is, guys, is it's a way to monitor your uh, IP or your domain, and uh, it's a simple thing. It's you know, it'll just give you notification alerts right here. It's very simple. It will not send you an email. It will not send you any text. It will not send you a phone call. And this is just for your purpose to check. Okay, so I can put in. Don't put Google. And I can change right out of, you know, and click on Add New Site, and it'll, it'll scan it. And once it scans, you can click on Report, and you'll find out. Okay. Now, let's go back to uh, Ms. Glee's tools. Now, right here we have password generator. It'll allow you to generate very strengthy password, as you can see. Port scan. Basically, what this means is we can scan a port if it's open or not. Let's see, okay? As you can see, FTP is fine. SSS is fine. Telenet is disabled. It's open, it's open, 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 open. And these things should be closed. Now, if you have any, you can check your own site to make sure that, you know, your uh, Telenet, your, uh, your, you know, um, your all these other ports should be closed, as you can see. And we have something called Grab Users IP. This is the tool that you can give to your customer if you want to get their information or give it to someone if you want to get their information. So just tell them copy and give it to them. And let's say I'm going to go here. And it tells me that this is my IP address. Obviously, guys, I'm using uh, VPN, just so you know. <laughs> I wasn't going to put my IP on for tutorial, but you guys get the idea. And if I refresh it, I can see it, okay? It's very simple. Every time a people go to that URL, you can send a unique URL, and uh, you'll get their information right here. Simple, cool. Now, uh, click on File, Shell Scanner. Basically, this is very important, okay? Now, let's say you got a file from someone. Now, before, sometimes, okay, sometimes you get a file from someone and it looks, you know, it looks, it's encrypted or it looks, you know, it's suspicious. Now, you want to go ahead and click on choose a file and upload. Basically, the system will scan to see if it has any backdoors, any viruses, okay? 
very good idea credit card check now basically um, this is if you are into uh, uh, you know trend you know e-commerce or transaction you know industry what you can do is go ahead and put in people's credit card number here to make sure that it's an actual valid card okay it will check to make sure it will connect MasterCard to dis discover and check if it's valid or not now we have security news basically this is a place where you can get la latest uh, feed about security and IT and that's pretty much it guys that's pretty much it and I hope you uh, love it and we can go back to domain tools and uh, uptime monitor and click on monitor and uh, as you can see once it gets checked you will see it right here that's it folks thank you